Hi, my name's Howard Coons. Today's the day after Thanksgiving, and me and my boys are involved in this plumbing business, Apex Plumbing. This is a third generation plumbing business, and we wanted to make a comparison of toilets. And so we bought um, three different toilets, brand new toilets. This first one is a Western pottery toilet. It's the standard 1.28 gallon flush. And its retail price is right about um, $220. This next one is American Standard Cadet Pro and its retail price is more towards about $280. And it's a 1.6 gallon compared to 1.28 gallon. Um, federal law re allows for 1.6 gallon maximum. And it's a elongated bowl. They're all elongated bowls and it's a share height, which means it's a little bit higher than the average toilet. It's the same as the ADA height toilets. And so it's about 16 and a half inches tall to the rim. This next one here is the Kohler toilet and it's a 1.28 gallon toilet. And its retail price is close to, it would be about 200 to 250. Depends if you buy it on sale or not. Today we're going to um, flush different things down. We want to test out different aspects of it. What it can take. How long of an object it can take. How well it can wash the sides of the bowl. And just kind of the overall quality of it. So we'll be kind of talking about that as as we go. This is what the guy at the supply house told me. This is the last 1.6 that you can buy without spending a lot of money. So let's take a look at that western powder. You notice that sharp P-trap there. And then this extra separate bend here. You don't see that on either of the other toilets, which have very kind of wide sweeping angles. Although I will say the Kohler not quite as wide and sweeping as the American Standard. The first test we're going to do here is we're going to test flush a sponge down. Now, you can figure out what you think a sponge might represent, but we're going to first wring out the sponge a little bit. It's a dry sponge we cut up. We're going to wring it out so that it won't float and put it in the bowl and then we're going to see which of the toilets will take it down. One, two, three. So what we're seeing is the American Standard Cadet Pro took it all the way down. The Kohler here took it part way down but it didn't exit yet and the Western Pottery it's still stuck right there. So we're going to take this sponge. It's about one inch square by five inches long. We've saturated it with water. We're going to help it out by orienting it. We won't make it start going down. We'll just make sure it's turned the right way. Okay, here we go. It made it. And for the color, we'll do the same. It kind of automatically orients itself because it's oval in here a little bit more than the others. It did not make it. Okay. That one takes two flushes to do. Okay. It's oriented a little bit, and here we go. It did make it through. This is uh, chocolate syrup. We want to see how well the sidewalls wash. Okay, one, that's one flush. Let's see if the American Standard does any different. Go ahead, higher. So far, similar. Okay, that's pretty good there. Let's take a look here. Okay, so that's first flush for all of them. So here we have the Western Pottery, American Standard, Kohler after 10. Our next step experiment will be with Cheerios. The purpose of this experiment is to see the volume of material that a toilet can take down without leaving any residue. We are going to do one cup of wet Cheerios in each, and we'll see how many flushes it takes to get them completely cleared out if it doesn't, I guess. Hiram, tell us how many Cheerios. We have three left here. Gotta let okay. it fill. 
Okay, go ahead. We got four left. We got about 20 left. All, All right. Cheerios down. Flush two of one cup of Cheerios with the American Standard. There's one Cheerio. One left. Cheerio remaining. About 15 or 20 Cheerios on the Western Pottery. Second flush. There's uh, three, six, seven left. Okay, got it that time. This is slightly embarrassing. There's still two Cheerios left after three flushes. Our final experiment involves carrots. We're trying to see how long of an object can go down the toilet, something that's long and rigid. And uh, we're gonna use the same piece for each toilet. It's about two thirds of my hand. How many inches would you say that is? Oh, probably four inches. Okay, on the color first. Okay, there it is. The carrot is lodged inside the toilet somewhere. It is, it did not come out. Kind of to summarize, I'm standing here in front of the American Standard Toilet. The American Standard Toilet seemed like it took the sponges best and it flushed the chocolate on the edges down best. The Kohler toilet seemed like it flushed the one cup of Cheerios completely down with none left. It did that best. And also it took the four inch piece of carrot down in one flush. The Western Pottery is didn't win any of those categories. However, it's the cheapest toilet by about $60 to $100. And it is, we got to remember, it's a 1.3 gallon flush or 1.28 gallon flush where the um, American standard here was a 1.6 gallon flush.